WWOZ is proud to celebrate 300 years of New Orleans history with this tricentennial music moment. Yvonne Bush was one of the most important and influential New Orleans musicians, even though she was never a household name. A child prodigy and performer, she made a choice to change directions and teach in public schools and change the lives of thousands. Growing up in Treme in the 1930s, she learned to play any instrument she picked up. As a child and a teenager, she toured the country in professional swing orchestra. She was on her way, but she really wanted to teach. So after college, she got a teaching job in New Orleans. The students at Booker T. Washington Senior High were surprised when Miss Bush used her own money to repair instruments and buy sheet music. Miss Bush started teaching about jazz and popular music. Ms. Bush revitalized the marching band. When her students wanted to put together an R&B band, she encouraged them and even helped put together the lineup of the Hawkettes. Her musicians remained devoted even when she moved on to other schools. She spent two years jumping every day between Joseph A. Craig Elementary, McDonald 41 Junior High, and Joseph S. Clark Senior High but she eventually settled at George Washington Carver Senior High. She set out to teach, and when she taught a student, they stayed taught. When she finally retired after 32 years, her former students were everywhere in New Orleans and around the world. Sugar Boy Crawford, James Black, Smokey Johnson, Herlin Riley, Kermit Ruffins, and she set new standards for music education. Her student teachers included Ellis Marcellus, Roger Dickerson, and Clyde Kerr, Jr. She passed in 2014 at 84, but you can hear her legacy everywhere in New Orleans and around the world. For WWOZ, I'm James Rivers, and I was a student of Miss Yvonne Bush at Booker T. Washington High School. This tricentennial music moment was made possible by the New Orleans Tourism Marketing Corporation, People's Health, the Hellas Foundation, and the Derbis Foundation. Special thanks to the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation. To learn more, go to wwoz.org. And keep listening to WWOZ for more tricentennial music moments. I'm James Rivers. Don't make me go get my bagpipes. This is WWOZ 90.7 FM in New Orleans. <laughs>